Dimelang once again. Welcome to another episode of Monday Reading with Pretoria Psychologist. Kalibito kina kamhelo wakwaba. So this month is a month of love, and love is a beautiful thing. Today, however, I'm gonna take a different route. My topic for today is unresolved issues. Yes, unresolved issues. I've realized that in many times in relationships, you know, we we have so many unresolved issues. And I want to really highlight the power of relationships and how much unresolved issues can actually cause a lot of problems. Before one gets into a relationship, be it romantic, be it friendship, or be it work relationship, before you can partner when, with another person in whatever it is that you're partnering with them in, it's imperative that you have a relationship with yourself. There are so many relationships that we are exposed to as people. You know, we have family relationships, we have personal relationships, we have romantic relationships, professional relationships, and it's very important that you know who you are individually first before a relationship. But for the sake of this conversation, we're going to focus on romantic relationships because it's February, the month of love. So one of the ways to actually help with unresolved issues is for you to go on a journey to self, by yourself. I believe that it is important that you know who you are as an individual before joining someone else. I have to put a side note, I'm not a relationship coach, nor am I an expert in relationships. But I do know how to have healthy relationships. And it's important that you have a healthy relationship with yourself first. Journey to self can be can contain a lot of things, you know. It can be you dealing with your past traumas because that's very important. It can be you finding who you really are because you find that a lot of people find their identity in relationships. Individually you don't know who you are, but in a relationship you know who you are. And I don't understand that concept. It's imperative that you know who you are first individually. Understand who you are. Know your triggers, you know, know things that bother you, know your love language as well. But know who you are individually first. It's important that you spend time with yourself, date yourself, explore with yourself before they come. So that you are actually fulfilled as a person. There's this ideology that a person completes me. I don't believe in that. I believe that as an individual you are a complete being as a whole by yourself. A person cannot complete you but rather complement you. So it's imperative that you understand the you aspect first before a relationship. And of course, you know self-awareness and investing in yourself is one of the things that are very important. You know sometimes we pour into people's gardens before pouring into ours and that would leave you very empty and feeling like you've got nothing more to give. You cannot give what you don't have. You know, you cannot learn to love someone if you haven't learned to love yourself as well. So it's important that you resolve your issues. It's important that you understand that it takes two to be in a relationship and a healthy relationship requires two healthy-minded people. I also believe that yes two people can make each other happy but it is not your partner's responsibility to make sure that you are happy your happiness is your own responsibility you become happy individually and share that happiness together as a couple so depending on your partner to make you happy is not a good thing it's actually very toxic because it means that you lack as an individual and it creates a dependency syndrome and we don't want that i believe that it's important that you are independent in a relationship that you can stand on your own even with your partner i also believe in being the one before you go on a journey of finding the one we always talk about how we want the one you know the one must be this must be that cross off a list but in reality are you the one 
because your one is also looking for their one. So it's important that you also take time to invest in yourself, you know, so that you can be the one, you know, yourself for yourself first before you can be the one for someone else. And I think that's where unrealistic expectations also come from and I want to eradicate that. And I will put a disclaimer again that I am not a relationship expert, neither am I a relationship coach. I'm just someone who knows how to have healthy relationships and I'm still learning. For me personally, you know, one of the unrealistic expectations that I would like to eradicate is expecting something from someone that I cannot do by myself. I don't think that is fair. I don't think that is okay at all. And you see this in in both male and female where we do have certain expectations from the other person that we cannot meet ourselves. I will give a, a small example. As a woman, you might expect a guy or your partner to buy you flowers. You know, to buy you chocolates, take you out on dates. But in reality, have you done that yourself first? Do you buy yourself flowers? Do you buy yourself chocolates? Do you take yourself out on dates? Whatever it is that you are expecting from another person, are you also doing it on your own? So it's important that we eradicate these unrealistic expectations that we have on other people, you know, that we place on other people. You need to first deal and meet your own expectations before you can actually expect from someone else and in more ca- in most cases it's it's impossible to see all these things if you still have unresolved issues you know we get in relationships with past burdens we get into new relationships with past traumas and we tend to actually reflect or project that onto our current partners and i don't think that is okay at all it's very toxic so it's very important that you go on a journey of healing it's important that you learn you know your triggers as well you you self journey is very important i will not stop emphasizing that you know knowing yourself is very important because it allows you to know aspects of yourself you know to know which aspects of yourself are healthy and are not healthy so you can actually deal with that before attaching your life to someone else's and with you dealing with your traumas as well you know you you prevent yourself from repeating past toxic patterns have you ever wondered why all your relationships feel a bit similar or why your previous partners have similar personalities just a different name or a different face you know it could be that you haven't dealt with major issues in your life you haven't given yourself time to go on a self journey and you end up repeating the same patterns over and over again you're going in circles you know not growing whatsoever and the only thing that is growing is your trauma because of every relationship that comes comes with its own traumas. So for you to prevent yourself from going through that cycle of repeating the same mistakes over and over again, you know, having commitment issues, having this experience in the same issues in multiple relationships, it's important that you know yourself, you discover who you are, you learn to love yourself, you resolve all the issues that you might have. And just to add on, you know, unresolved issues does not only um focus it's not only based on 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 romantic relationships it could be from family relationships that are overlapping with your relationships as well so take a step back and try to introspect on what could actually be causing you to have unresolved issues or what unresolved issues do you have from your past that are affecting your present and possibly your future you know what childhood traumas haven't you dealt with from your past that are making you behave in a certain way that are making you think and and perceive and process things in a different way you know that is not healthy at all so i will not stress the importance of therapy um enough therapy is is very important you need to have counseling both individually and as a couple i actually do advise premarital counseling because it's important that you know you understand who you are as a couple also 
despite who you are individually you know and especially in our black communities you know we don't take counseling very seriously and it could be you know that thing that you actually need to help you step into a new phase into your life to help you you know deal with that pain deal with those traumas and confront those unresolved issues that have been holding you captive you know um and also i think it's important that you know you learn your triggers because sometimes you might find that your interest is main is influenced by the issues that you might have experienced at home and vice versa you know for a man it could be that you know the the interest in women are also influenced by what they experienced at home so it's important that we we identify those triggers we identify those issues so we can actually deal with them so we can actually break these toxic cycles that we find ourselves in in relationships and find ways to actually have healthy and lasting relationships and last but not least you know part of dealing with unresolved issues is communicating effectively it's important that you communicate openly with your partner communicate openly with yourself as well you know we lie to ourselves a lot we could we we try to convince ourselves of so many things and i think it's important that you be honest with yourself and your partner as well about things that concern you things that you don't approve of you know things that don't make you comfortable and okay you know and also the things that make you okay as well but communicate openly and effectively with yourself the people that are around you and your partner as well so you can have a healthy relationship and so you can deal with your unresolved issues and i know dealing with unresolved issues is not easy but it's not impossible so thank you again for joining us on another episode till next time